Bodegaden. Here in Seattle, I'm trying to figure out what can we do as citizens, even in our homes, what can we do? And it is very difficult, so I really could use your help. And particularly now, since I don't have solid a solid connection, if I got this up, fantastic. But I've had intermittent um, uh, connection, which is quite terrible. And uh, what I learned with the, some of the phone calls that I called today to some cities is they don't know what they need. They don't know they they have so much going on. They just don't. They don't really know. Uh, and um, but I do. They said, well, look locally. For example, there's a Bothell Church that's helping people doing something, and there's a Facebook uh, Kenmore Neighbors group, which I just joined, but I was offline, so I couldn't see. Um, that are helping people. And um, let's see, in Shoreline, there's a Shoreline Caring Facebook group. So what, what I get here is I'll make more calls tomorrow, but uh, I think a lot of the authorities don't really know. So their needs assessment is not clear and it, it's difficult for them to know. I encourage you, and particularly since I don't know how much access I will have and I'm not going to be searching on my phone. It's not going to happen. I'm on a 49 inch monitor and doing this will drive me nuts. So I could use your help. Um, and I would say plug into your local community or neighborhood group, your next door, uh, dot com, and what's happening there? What kind of things are they helping with? What are the needs? Uh, and, and check it out and then share it as well. Uh, another thing uh, is go to, go, go to your county, and for us, King County or Snohomish County, and make sure you're up on the um, latest updates to know. I would sign up for alerts, by the way. So you can, you can, if there's a big situation, they will alert you by text or email. And then a lot of um, cities will have email alerts and updates. But I would look at in King County, let's see, I can't remember now because I've put so many, but can you go to parks? I think you can go to parks there. In Seattle, can you go to parks? I uh, can't remember. And something changed with hiking today because the rescue team didn't want to use, they didn't want to have to rescue people if there's a problem because then they would use products. So there's something to the, um, for hiking, like no hiking. Um, and then in Kenmore, parks, uh, parks are closed. Playgrounds, parks, those are closed. Shoreline, um, you know, it's slightly different. I think maybe the courts are closed, but maybe the walkways are open or something like that. So I'd be very, um, I would look at where you're at so you can follow the rules and be respectful and and because I've seen lots of um, idiots you know just crowding the parks ton of people there and it makes me so mad you know protect if you don't care about yourself care about the people who raised you or the people around you um, and uh, so please please be respectful of, of the guidelines and maybe even be 